Chapel on Estate once tipped as love nest for William and Kate hits the market. Prince William is letting out a charming old chapel, once intended to be his and Kate's romantic getaway, on a refurbished estate. The property can be rented for £795 per month or £9,540 annually. The stunning building boasts 1,200 square feet of studio or office space, complete with stained glass windows, a cloakroom, and a kitchenette. St. Dennis's Chapel, located in Harewood End, near Hereford, forms part of the Duchy of Cornwall estate, owned by the Prince of Wales. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. This estate was founded by Edward III in 1337 as a source of income for the heir apparent. Luxury Property News reported that the King Charles purchased the sprawling country estate in Herefordshire while William was at university. When Charles sought planning permission to construct a mansion to replace one demolished by the SAS in the 1950s, it was speculated he was creating a new high grove for William. It was thought that Charles wanted a future family home for his son within driving distance of his own Highgrove house estate in the Cotswolds, where William spent his childhood. It was suggested that William and Kate would reside there before starting a family. However, William, Kate, and their three children have settled in Windsor, while maintaining their first home, Amna Hall, in Norfolk. The chapel available for rent is part of an extensive regeneration project of Harewood Park, which Prince William inherited as part of the £1 billion Duchy of Cornwall estate when his father ascended the throne. Agents have lauded the exquisite finish of this remarkable building, highlighting the meticulous restoration of its stonework and stained glass windows. The light and spacious interior is a truly unique workspace, they remarked. The chapel boasts a wood pellet boiler, mains water, and electricity, with drainage managed through an eco-friendly reed bed system. For more than half a century, the Duchy of Cornwall was under King Charles's stewardship, but it passed to William after Queen Elizabeth II's death and his father's subsequent rise to the throne. Prince Harry's comment on the alleged challenges faced by women who marry into the royal family was seen as a huge blow by his brother Prince William, who took it as a blatant attack on his wife, Princess Kate, a royal author has claimed. The Duke of Sussex has been estranged from his older brother ever since he and wife Meghan Markle quit the firm and moved to the US in 2020, with the siblings now not even being on speaking terms. Harry and Meghan have made a series of claims and accusations against the royals since they moved across the pond. One of them was during their infamous interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2021. Harry opened up about how, according to him, it's different for women who marry into the royal family, stressing the challenges they face, compared to those born into the House of Windsor. The Duke talked about the pain and suffering of women marrying into this institution and compared it to what his late mother, Princess Diana, went through. He said that he was terrified. I didn't want history to repeat itself nodding to his wife. He added, I think for so many people in the family, especially obviously the men, there can be a temptation or an urge to marry someone who would fit the mold, as opposed to somebody who you are perhaps destined to be with. The difference between making decisions with your head or your heart. And my mum certainly made most of her decisions, if not all of them, from her heart. And I am my mother's son. It is this comment about royal men marrying women who were considered to fit the mold is said to have hurt the heir to the throne, according to Richard Hardman, author of Charles III, New King. New Court. The Inside Story, who cited a friend of Prince William's. Mr. Hardman wrote, the clear inference that he was talking about his elder brother astonished friends of the family. He quotes William's friend as saying, on top of all the other breaches of trust, here was Harry making a blatant attack on Catherine. For William, this was the lowest of the low.